Halt! Who goes there? Ah, Commander players. Welcome to the kingdom. I am Sir David, noble knight of the realm and defender of our great king. I see you fancy yourself a game of commander. Well, here in the kingdom, we play the game by our own rules. Allow me to tell you about it. Commander Kingdoms is a variant on the EDH format intended for between five and eight players. It uses the standard commander rule set and ban list. The game has a heavy secrecy component designed to encourage the bluffing and politicking side of play. You're not just playing your cards, you're playing the other people at the table. Before the game begins, you will be dealt a secret identity card face down. This card will give you your role in the coming battle and any special abilities you might have. You may find you even have teammates, depending on which role you are given. The fact that these roles are dealt face down is significant. With each player's intentions unknown at the outstart, it creates interesting opportunities for players to represent or misrepresent their intentions. Players may take on strange alliances or temporary truces as they struggle to achieve their ultimate goal. The game will begin with the lawful king. The king presides over every game of kingdoms and is oftentimes the center of attention. The king leads one of the major factions in the game, the lawful faction, with knights on his team to aid him. Opposing the king is the chaotic faction. This mob of bandits and hooligans seeks victory by defeating the lawful king on the battlefield. Also wandering the realm are not aligned neutral characters like rogues and demons and sellswords, each serving their own personal agenda. As a kingdom's game develops, each player builds their board position towards their secret victory condition. Chaotic aligned characters will attempt to assassinate the king, while the lawful faction will play defense against aggressors and attempt to eliminate non-lawful players. Let's look in on this kingdom's game. A mysterious figure piloting the Lord of Tressahorn has done a great deal to advance the king's board state. He has convinced the table that he is not a threat and to let his commander resolve. But in a brash display, he immediately gives it haste and swings a potentially lethal attack at the king. Fortunately, there's a dapper young knight in the game, and he uses his one-time reveal ability to exile the attacker and defend his ally. The game progresses, and the sellsword is revealed. Players may immediately bid life in an auction process to gain the sellsword as an ally for the duration of the game. Do you bid little to protect your life total, or do you bid big hoping to secure a vital teammate? Play resumes for several turns, but for this poor soul, his time has run out. But to everyone's surprise, he was slain by the necromancer. When the necromancer slays a player, they are revived to life as an undead warrior, servant, and teammate to their necromancer overlord. Our kingdom is in quite a dilemma. We've got bandits trying to assassinate our beloved king, a sellsword loose to the highest bidder, and now an army of the dead trying to take over the table. By the holy light! How will this game end? Well, for only a modest sum, you can support the Commander Kingdoms project and find out for yourself. This 55-card set includes everything you need to make a Kingdoms adventure of your own. Visit our Patreon page for more information.